वेलकम बैक डियर फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी आर हेडिंग इन आवर स्टडी विथ रिवोल्यूशन द बुक ऑफ रिवोल्यूशन बाय जॉन द डिवाइन चैप्टर एट यू हियर द साउंड ऑफ द ट्रम्पेट्स The main focus of chapter 8 is about the seven trumpets. Seven angels come and blow the trumpet each at a time. Maybe it's the clarion call. It's a probation period. Are we ready? Do we repent of our negative things? God is giving a space, a period of grace before the judgment, before the last days, before the end time. Let us listen to the call of the trumpet. It is giving us a caution. Here is your probation period, which is going to end soon. On the judgment day, till you are given the period of grace. You are given the period of grace. Are we listening? Are we sensitive to the trumpet call? a clarion call is given for us to come to the feet of the living god before these disasters come upon us it's a period of grace for us let us check ourselves let us introspect ourselves when the trumpet before the trumpets call there was silence in heaven for about half an hour 30 minutes there was quietness there were, it was calm and quiet there was silence for about 30 minutes then there appear the seventh seal of god is open. loosened and when the seventh seal is loosened the seven trumpets blow one after another one at a time giving us a warning call it's uh, these seven trumpets in the hands of the seven angels they give to cue the apocalyptic events that are going to happen it's the initiation of the apocalyptic events that are going to happen and you see enjoy my colorful art of the seven angels blowing the trumpets the seven angels are ready they are giving us the clarion call the end time a warning bell is being given time is up dear friends let us introspect ourselves let us move away from our trespasses and follow the path shown by god these are the seven angels carrying the seven trumpets in the chapter 8 we see the first four angels they blow the trumpet before the first angel blows the trumpet john saw a golden altar in front of god's throne on which he was burning incense he took a censer and he was burning and the incense is going up what is this incense 
that's going up on the altar, golden altar in front of God's throne in heaven. This incense, the fragrant incense coming up and reaching to God. These are this incense is nothing but the prayers of the saints, the prayers of the believers. Our living God says, Your prayers are like a fragrant incense to me. They are so sweet to smell, God says. Our prayers are acceptable to God. So when John says, before the trumpet calls, there was silence for 30 minutes, and then there were the seven angels, and they were trump blowing the trumpet, and there was another angel standing at the golden altar giving incense. This incense was the prayer of the saints and of our, all the believers in Christ. Then the angel, with that censer, it took the fire that is on the altar, it took in a censer and threw this fire upon the earth. So it's a time to avenge. It's time for God to avenge the tribulations that the saints and that the believers are subjected to because of their testimony of Christ and because of the word of God. For God's sake, they were assassinated. They were killed brutally. Hence, the angel throws the fire from the golden altar with a censer, takes with a censer, and that fire is thrown onto the earth. That is the beginning of the trump, trumpet calls and each trumpet, when, whenever one trumpet is blown, one evil comes. The fury of God of a kind comes onto the earth. Let us see the four angels. When the first trumpet was blown, hail and fire mingled with blood. Hail and fire mingled with blood is thrown onto the earth. It is going to burn up one third of the tree on the planet and of all the greenery is going to be burnt out. When the first trumpet blows, hail and fire mingled with the blood was thrown onto the earth and one third of the plant life it was, is going to be burnt out. When the second trumpet burn is blown, a great mountain like an asteroid, a great mountain of fire from the sky is thrown onto the earth, plunged into the sea, and one third of the sea turns blood. Celestial calamity is like a huge mountain of fire, world, world from the rolled out from the heaven into the sea and one third of sea life is going to be burnt, loses its life. So a great mountain burning with the fire got plunged into the sea and one third of sea life turned blood into blood and one third of all the ships with all the merchandise, with all human life in the ship, one third of the ships get destroyed. It was like an asteroid. It's supposed to be when very poisonous. When an asteroid falls on the earth, it's supposed to be highly poisonous. And when the third trumpet blows, a great star, it's named as Wormwood. A great star falls. Stars are, though sun is also a star, stars are bigger than 
even the sun. When, so, when a great star falls on the earth, it's given the name the worm wood. It falls on the earth and one third of the planets, fresh water, rivers and springs were burnt out. We find it's a sign it is signaling even now there is scarcity of fresh water. So many waterborne diseases are taking away the life human taking away the human life. There is water crisis. We call water the elixir of life, but that water is not accessible to all people. Water is getting polluted by the industrial waste. Again, human intervention. And consider when the third trumpet blows, a great storm, wormwood falls on earth and one third of the planet's fresh water life. Life, aquatic life in the freshwater bodies, as the rivers and springs are all gone, and the water becomes polluted. When the fourth trumpet blows, one third of the light is darkened. One third of the light of the sun in the daytime is darkened. One third of the light of the moon in the night is darkened and one third of the stars, the brightness of stars is darkened. Darkness representing death, representing catastrophe. This catastrophe of complete darkness, one third of day through the night, it was dark. So we see when the first trumpet blows, one third of the tree life on the planet is gone. When the second trumpet blows, one third of the sea life, aquatic life of the seas and the ships are burnt out. When the third trumpet blows, a great star wormwood falls and the river water and fresh water is spoiled. One third of the fresh water is spoiled. We are all facing these things. Loss of plant life. Seas are getting polluted. Oil spills. Even air is getting polluted. Water is getting polluted because of the acid rain. Man-made in man human intervention of deforestation. Loss of topsoil, soil erosion. These are all man made in the guise of demonic intervention. Are we demons? Frankenstein comes to my mind. Man creates the machine and machine comes to kill man. This is the exploitation of human knowledge. And the, when the fourth trumpet blew, blows, there is one third of darkness. One third of sunlight is darkened in the daytime. One third of moon's light is darkened. And one third of the brightness of stars is going to be darkened. So here, as I share my art of seven angels blowing the seven trumpets we see in chapters 8 of revelation first second third and fourth four angels blowing the trumpets let us be sensitive to the trumpet call let us check ourselves in this probation time in this grace period let us wash our sins let us correct ourselves Otherwise, we have to face the wrath of God. We have to drink of the cup of his fury. Are we ready to choose the wrath of God or 
or we are ready to choose the heavenly bliss. After the four trumpets are blown in chapter 8, one angel was shouting in a loud voice. Again there were the voices of thunderings, lightning, earthquake, tsunami is happening, human intervention being the risk, cause of it. And the last, the remaining three trumpets represent the three oaths that are going to occur on the earth, on the planet the earth. And the angel was shouting in a loud voice, Woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth by reason of the other voices of the three trumpets, fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh trumpets that are going to happen. So we will see in chapter 9 the other three woes that are going to happen as given in vision to John of Patmos, John the Divine in the book of Revelation. Thank you all. I hope it's not startling. It mo it's not creating unrest in your hearts. But let's face it and let's accept the truth and be prepared for the final day of judgment. Thanks once again. See you soon.